Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of May 14th, 2018. This week in gaming, we're talking about uh, some news about Steam. Mortal Kombat is again a topic for discussion because Ed Boon just doesn't know when to quit. Fallout has some updates going on. Fortnite stuff is things and other things and intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commando of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we can jump into the news, guys, we have to jump into the sponsors. I skipped it last week and the week before because getting back into the swing of things, but now we're being sponsored again, kind of. Uh, all week, every one of these episodes is sponsored by two things. First of all, Punishshirt.com, the wonderful guys that gave me these shirts. Uh, for those of you that were took part in that contest, thank you very much for being a part of the contest. For the rest of you, though, there is this shirt over on PunishShirt.com. You can go get one for yourself. They're about 20 bucks. They're actually super high quality. Go support some small business over at PunishShirt.com. The other shirt is the new shirt up on the Teespring store. Teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. It's the photographer shirt. Uh, I'm, do I'm doing a series of shirts that looks something like this. It's a play on an obvious, uh, already established brand that I just think is a little ridiculous. So this is the first of the series. I told you guys I was going to be adding some shirts. I actually have other uh, designs done. They just haven't made it up onto the, onto the store yet. They probably won't make it onto the store until next week. So this will be our first one in this vein. You can get your photographer's shirt over at teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. Now let's jump into the news, shall we? First on our list, Steam is going mobile. Uh, going, it's going to be by the end of this month, actually by about a week and a half from now, uh, and they'll be available on iOS and Android. Uh, the way it works is you will need an existing account with Steam on your PC. You will need your PC to be connected and on in order for you to play, so when you go wherever you go to play your Steam Mobile, you're going to need to ha leave your computer on at home and connect it to a very fast Wi-Fi or uh, you need to hardwire it into your modem, which if you're gaming online, you're hardwired into your modem anyway because you're a smart person and smart people do it the right way. Uh, and and that's basically how it's going to work. You're, you're, it's kind of like what was that sling tv back in the day where your tv had to be going and you could watch it through mobile that didn't really go very well hopefully this will go better for steam uh but there's there's still issues with that they haven't really addressed yet like what happens if you are for some reason connected through wi-fi and you drop your connection while you're away from the house does that kill your game what if you're in a wi-fi area and your phone still has Wi-Fi connection, your computer just lost it for whatever reason. What about controllers? How are you going to play all of those games on your cell phone? That doesn't make any sense. How are we going to... It's just, there's so many questions still left unanswered, and there's only so much time to answer them before it comes out. Uh, hopefully they will address those things in the days to come. Next on the list, I feel like Ed Boon just is the biggest troll ever. Uh, Mortal Kombat is... <laughs> so, let's back up just a scotch. Injustice 2 is the current game for Netherrealm. The people at Netherrealm that do Mortal Kombat and Injustice, right now they're still kind of promoting Injustice in the professional gaming sphere. They're not going to be doing any more 
uh, uh, downloads the, any of the any more DLC. Uh, and the way we know that is because there was a Twitter conversation, a Twitter uh, uh, chain going on, where a lot of Mortal Kombat and Injustice fans were talking about Injustice and. Wouldn't it be cool if we got another DLC for the year 2018? What if that's what they're going to announce at E3 this year? And so Ed Boon jumped into the chain and said, Do you know what else would be cool? And he spelled cool with a K. And that was the tweet. That was the entire tweet. Um, so it's just more fodder for what we kind of already know is going to happen because... Mortal Kombat is the next game they're going to be uh, announcing. Mortal Kombat 11, which will likely be out by the end of this year, at least the an initial version of it, and then all of the DLCs will spread out through the course of next year, because that's the way they've been doing it. So, uh, just a thing that needed to be talked about real quick. Next on our gaming list, we're talking about Fallout New California. What is Fallout New California? Well, before, you know, you start to speculate, let me tell you. Uh, apparently, this is a mod that has been nine years in the making that I am just now learning about, unfortunately. But it looks like they're about to announce a release date. If between the time I'm filming this now and the time this is edited and goes up, they have announced that release date, I will insert it. But, as it stands right now, there is not a release date just yet. Uh, they say it's going to be announced this week. Hopefully it is. Uh, what the mod is, it's a mod for, for the PC version of Fallout New Vegas. This is a prequel story-wise to New Vegas. Uh, but it's built on that awesome framework that New, New Vegas was built on, uh, which we got from Obsidian and not Bethesda. But... Yeah, the, the, the legalities and stupid things. So, New California, though, has the blessing of Bethesda. So, Bethesda gave them the green light to do this giant, giant mod. Uh, it sounds like it is going to be released on the Nexus. And if you go to the description, there is a link to the initial trailer, to the most recent trailer. They've done a few trailers, but this is the most recent gameplay trailer. So, we see actual gameplay footage. Uh, the announcement for the release is supposed to come out in a trailer. So again, if we do actually get that between now and uh, when this goes up, I will put, also put that link in the description. But that's all we've got for Fallout. Next is our last bit of news, and it's all about Fortnite and becoming Thanos. So you can it's it's so there's a there's a special mode in fortnite that's going on right now it's going to be cut uh soon ish i can't imagine they're going to keep this for very much longer but they haven't as far as i've seen anyway they haven't announced a uh, cutoff date for when you can do this uh, but it's called uh, avengers infinity gauntlet it's a new game mode again it's going to be temporary uh, and so if you find the way this works, let me break this down. Basically you become Thanos and you get the infinity gauntlet and you become very, very strong for a short amount of time. Uh, so early in the match, first you have to choose infinity gauntlet as your game mode. And then early in the match, a meteor will land in the storm safe zone, delivering the infinity gauntlet. The meteor is incredibly loud. So you'll be able to hear it as soon as it begins to approach. Uh, any player will be able to pick up the Infinity Gauntlet and when it first falls to the ground. Any player who uses the Infinity Gauntlet will turn into Thanos. And the artwork for Thanos, it, you should be seeing it on your screen right about now, uh, is really cool. I really, di I really dig that style that they have for Fortnite. It's, it's very interesting uh, and I really appreciate the cartoony bit that's still kind of realistic. Any player who uses the Infinity Gauntlet will turn into Thanos. When this happens, everyone will hear Thanos' voice and a Thanos marker will appear on top of your screen. If Thanos is eliminated, the gauntlet will fall to the ground, free for the taking. If it sits unused for too long, it will disappear and then come back in another meteor. The last player standing wins. So, interesting. Uh, I'm not a Fortnite player. I Again, I have a crap internet connection at my house because I'm poor and so I just have to watch you guys play it on the streams and the twitch and stuff so uh that's all we got this week for gaming guys what did I miss 
what should we talk about next week? Definitely let me know in the comments below. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go get all of the freebies, all of the social media links, the store links, so you can get your nerdy swag. Everything like that is up on the website, generallynerdy.net. If, though, you would rather contribute a little more directly, you can jump over to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place that you can go contribute just a dollar a month. A dollar a month helps like you do not believe. Jump over to the Patreon. There are more tiers. You do get more things if you contribute more than that dollar, but that dollar gets you a fair amount. You get all of the Renaissance Nerd complete videos. You get everything early. There's other exclusives for the dollar a month. Check it out. Generally Nerdy on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the place to go. If you are new to the channel, though, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell because subscriptions really don't mean a whole lot. If you really like content, you have to ring the little bell. If you like this episode, though, then please click that thumbs up button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go clicking websites and dinging boxes and things, guys, always... Always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.